certification training, career development. Which is right for me? To find out, watch this video. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers, an organization dedicated towards building high-performance cloud computing and technology careers. Personally, I've been working in technology for over 25 years, and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for over two decades. And I wanna help you build your absolute best technology career. So part of building the right career is making sure you get the right types of training and professional development when you need them. And certification training is a big part of your technology career, but professional development or career development is equally important. And if you wanna accelerate your technology career and really maximize how far you can go or get the more elite technology positions, you're going to need both and it's just a matter of when. So when do you need these types of trainings? So uh, there are gonna be times in your career where you're gonna need certification training. And there will be times in your career where you need professional development. And there's gonna be times in your career where you're gonna need both. And knowing that is the secret to maximizing your career. Get the right training and your career will take off like a rocket ship. Get the wrong training and your career will stagnate. Or worse, it will actually go down. And that's why we're so passionate about about maximizing the right type of professional development and training when you need it most. Let's begin with certification training. And I love certification training. And here's what it's for. It's designed to teach entry-level, hands-on skills. So certification training would teach you the name of a vendor services, typically how to configure those basic services, and how to do basic troubleshooting. So certification training is really technician-oriented work. You could say it's how to do stuff. And it's really great for junior roles, such as a sysadmin, a network admin, or a cloud admin. Why? Because these are very task-oriented, very hands-on roles, where realistically speaking, it's about doing things. And certification training for these roles is absolutely fantastic. See, certification training is excellent because it's teaching the skills for these junior-level roles. But it's not that certification training is only valuable when you're beginning your career. There's times in your career where certification training can even help you when you're very experienced. I'll give you an example. Let's say you've got someone that's working as a network architect and they know how to do all the architect things from all the architect professional development. They're used to meeting with customers, delivering presentations. They're used to being CXO relevant, for example. They've got a lot of executive writing and a lot of executive skills behind them. And then they wake up one day and say, I want to be a cloud architect. Well, for them, because they're already an architect, they're already a professional with all their career development skills, they can just do some certification training. And in the certification training, they'll pick up some of the things that uh, they need to know. And this person is already so experienced knowing how to learn that they can use whatever's in that certification training. And what they can do from there is quite simply read and learn all the other things they don't understand on their own and poof, they're good. So certification training is excellent for career transitions from one IT professional career to another IT professional career because they're just learning the minor differences in between the two roles for which they're already trained. Now let's talk about career development training. This is really professional development. It's about developing your competency and your expertise. It's about how everything works because whether you're an architect or a manager or a leader, if we don't understand how the systems work, if we don't understand how everything works together, we cannot design a creative solution to solve a customer problem. And I don't care whether that's an architecture or a business architecture, whether it's uh, the technology to do it or a process, it doesn't matter. You have to understand how things work because you, before you can ever design a fix or a solution. And that's all about career development training. Now, career development training is also about building those professional skills that enable you to accelerate your technology career like a rocket ship. It's about your communication skills, your presentation skills, your leadership skills, your business acumen, your emotional intelligence, and being relevant to a CXO audience, like a CEO versus a CFO versus a CIO versus a CTO. As you move on in your career, you need to become increasingly relevant in those levels because that's where we exercise our area of influence. So if you're trying to get a better job, or you're trying to move up, or you're trying to take these elite roles, you need career development training. So now let's do an analysis. 
do you need certification training or professional training? Well, for the most part, we as technology professionals need both. But how and when, that's the ticket to accelerating your technology career. If you desire an entry-level role, entry-level, hands-on configuration, you need certification training. Go and get the associate and professional certifications in your chosen field. Just one. Don't get a bunch of associate certifications. One professional certification. And then practice your skills. Get great at them. And go out there and get hired. Why did I say one professional certification? One professional certification is worth about 10 associate certifications because the associate certifications signal the manager that you're almost ready for the job. And the professional ones signal the manager that you're much better prepared. And since you want to stand out from the competition, the competition will likely have a bunch of associates. If you have one professional and you actually have a skill to back it up, it's going to help you. So go out there and get your associate and then your professional and become great at what you do and go out there and get your first job. And that's all you need to know for these entry level jobs. Now, having said that, if you've got a better attitude, better communication skills, better personality, you're more likable, you're more emotionally intelligent, you're much more likely to get that first job and you'll be paid more. But just keep that in your mind for the entry level job certification training is often enough. Now, let's say you've been in an entry level role and you wanna move up. Here's what we're gonna tell you, both certification-wise and professional development, career development-wise. If you've got an associate certification, upgrade it to a professional or an expert. So if you've got a Cisco Certified Network Associate and you're a network admin, upgrade that to maybe a CCIE. That'll be a big help as you wanna move up or a CCMP. Now, likewise, what really is gonna help you at this point, it's your professional development. All the bigger roles need professional development. These are the kind of roles that will need it. Leadership roles, architect roles, and whether that's a cloud architect, an enterprise architect, a solution architect, a network architect, any of the principal engineering roles, and any type of consulting roles need professional development or career development training. Now let's talk about when you're in a senior role. Maybe you're a director, maybe you're an enterprise architect, maybe you're a principal architect, etc., and you want to move up. So you've got to look at what you're at in this position. At this point, you are an expert and people come to you for your expertise and your wisdom. You're a thought leader, you're a people leader. So at this point, you know, certifications on a resume really don't do much for us. And here's the reason people come to us for skills that are far above and beyond anything in certifications. So where should you spend your time? 90 plus percent should be on your professional development because certification training at this point doesn't help you. And, you know, what about that last 10%? So as a career advisor, strategically, I would say you should focus 100% of your time on professional development. Why? The opportunity cost of your time. If you spend your time doing certification training, you're not spending it doing professional development or career development training, and that's what's going to accelerate your career. This is Michael Gibbs. I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Architects and Go Cloud Careers, and I want to help you build the best technology career. Thank you so much for visiting us. It was so nice having you join us for this video today. Let me tell you about some free services we do for the cloud community. Once per week, we actually have a free question and answer session on live on YouTube where you can come and ask us any questions you want about building your career related to cloud computing or networking, and we'll answer them in real time for you because we want to get you to your goals. Several more times per week, we have guests from industry, industry experts that I've known for decades that are movers and shakers that have changed the world that can give you information so you can build the best career. I invite them periodically. They are on my show. If there's a chance to do some free training on our channel, we'll do it live because we want you to all to have the best skills for the best career. So please subscribe and hit the bell. I look forward to seeing you and I look forward to assisting you in your technology career. Thank you so much. This is Michael Gibbs from Go Cloud Architects.